Coming up next, boys high school basketball on your sports leader in Lorraine, WLCS TV 20. Good afternoon and welcome to Lorraine High School. Jay Ferguson, Bob Schlenbaker, Bob Braskich here to bring you a triple header. Long night for us. Jay. We start with the freshman boys basketball programs. Warrensville Heights in blue, Lorraine in white. Titans are seven and six on the season. Number 11, Christian Ruiz will jump center. Javon Williams, number three, number 10, Michael, Michael Williams. Number 12, Anthony Lorenzo. And 24, Ryan DiBernardo are the five for Lorraine. Warrensville in a 2-3 zone, predictably, well, because they have one player yeah, on the bench, Bob. Only one, yeah, exactly. It's hard to play man-to-man -man <laughs> -man over 28 minutes with only six players. The other night when we played uh, Cleveland Central Catholic, they were late with the freshman game didn't start till five on the way up fouled number 23 Eric Witt will go to the line foul is on number three Javion Williams we didn't didn't start till five o'clock with the freshman game they played six minutes quarters and had a two minute halftime Bob six minute quarters because they were a half hour late getting started wow. now when i first started night. coaching freshmen now this was back in the 80s we played six minute quarters i think it's choice i really yeah, use six I, I or do. seven i do and then we went to seven yeah and normally we play seven here 6 30 to go in the first but because it was so behind schedule on a school night they cut them down one nothing, Warrensville leads as Witt splits the pair. Back come the Titans. De Bernardo in the high post. Williams handles the ball out front, gets it over to Lorenzano. Three ball. Will Lorenzo? Excuse me. That young man has had a 29 point game this year, Jay. Wow. 29s a lot in freshman basketball. Yeah, in 28 minutes. <clears throat> Knocked away there by Lorenzo. It'll go out of bounds to Warrensville, three to one early on. Pass too high, Di Bernardo's gonna let it go out of bounds. You know, Bobby spent some time writing down all the names for the rosters, and we, we remarked, you know, late January, you never can tell after, <laughs> grade, after yeah. grades come out how many you're gonna have, and yeah, I... It's... Well, Coach Clark's been pretty good in that area. He right. tells me <clears throat> this is one of the nicest groups, most coachable group of young guys he has had. He's been doing this a long time yep. now. Williams, skip pass to Ruiz. Down low on the baseline, back up top to Lo Lorenzo. Front rim, no. Williams rebound up, no. Again, yeah, come no. On. Tipped up oh. by Ruiz, no. He's got another shot. Oh, another shot. shot. No. Oh, wow, another no. one. There it is. <laughs> Those seventh shots. <laughs> Christian Ruiz with yeah, two. Well, well, Ruiz has had a 26-point game this year, Jay. I watched him the other night for the first time, and uh, I thought he stood out against Cleveland Central Catholic. Back they come. Michael Williams on the run to Lorenzo. Up and in. Wow. I like that young man. Nine to one. Wow. Or seven to one, excuse me. Lorenzo with five against the pressure. Darian Robinson, number three. Number one, Torian McCrory. This could be a 10. Instead, it's passed to Coach, Coach Clark. Coach Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Turner, number 10. Number 12, Alan Barkley, are the five on the floor. I'm not sure who the one on the bench is. If I had to guess, it's number 11. D. Bernardo over to Ruiz, running one-hander. No, D. Bernardo down the lane. Nice, aggressive action there Ruiz in for a tie up held ball will go over to Warrensville Jay I've said it before every time we do freshmen I like freshman basketball a lot I don't think there's any level where the learning curve is so steep oh and I would uh, I would agree it's with amazing. you so much and it's <laughs> so important to have some consistency and have there's five second violation 
you know, make sure that the kids are being taught what you as the varsity co- right. coach, you know, and I'll go even one step further as I watched, uh, I did uh, Johnny Wilson's first LEL playoff game the other night against Cleveland Heights. And how did that work out? How did that uh, game work out? Brian Pagan does a great job down there teaching fundamentals for Johnny Wilson. And they're, they're pretty good. They won rather handily. I mean, it was probably 25, but it could have been 50. Does it look like they're going to have any size coming they've up? Got a, they've got a big kid who's about 6'3", who looks like he's pretty athletic. No, but this, so, is, it, this is just a fun level to coach. I mean, you really struggle until Christmas. He's, the young man's got a got nice, nice shot. form. He does. Ruiz nice pulls away the rebound there. Zero De- Dennis Pettis. Lorenzo. Ruiz down low. Oh, Michael Williams come on. lost it. And back comes Witt. Down the lane with the left. Going to walk with the ball before he threw it up. Back to the Titans. You know, I think Brian Clark does a good job, too. He's one oh, of my old guys. I, yeah. and he was my assistant. And, um, you know, he teaches his kids to read the defense really well. I which, agree. Which is very difficult to do. Down the lane, down low, intended for Williams, knocked away, but he got a hand on it, and Ruiz is going to get tied up again. Controlled to Witt for Warrensville. Ahead of the field to Barkley. Back to Witt down the lane. Partially blocked. Back out top three ball. Long. Rebound knocked away. It was off of McCrory, number one. Back comes Lorraine Pettis. Ruiz. Reverse it. Reverse it. Come on, one more pass this way. Well, the other thing that's got to happen is the the high post has got to be a little bit more active with his hands. Like that. Up no by Martinez. Nice find by Williams. But if you're going to be in the high post, you always have to be ready to receive the ball because there's no place you're not one pass away from. Oh. There's a push. I don't think he was going to call it until... Maybe he heard you, Jay. Lorenzano went down. What's that? On the push, because I didn't see it. Another substitute for Lorraine, number one. And Jay Sean Childs is in. Ruiz goes out. Someone else came in, Micah Kimbrough, 13. That's the other thing Coach Clark does a great job of, is playing a lot yeah. of guys. Out to the wing. Up top, Kimbrough throws three. Good. Oh, wow. Two. That's a two. Micah it- Kimbrough, 9-1 to one, Lorraine. Witt, when you have six guys, this is what happens. You, you, you all of a sudden don't have... A point guard to get the ball down to your big, so your big's got to bring it up the court. Witt missed it, but fought it up. He's going to go back to the line. Witt is very determined to attack the basket. Yes. I believe the foul was 33. Zayden Martinez. He dresses for the JVs as well, so... First shot up and no. Here comes the substitute. Darian Robinson, number three, comes back for Barkley. Oh, so we've seen all now, six now, is number now, 11. Now, Jay, Walker. they do have four young guys. Three look like players on the bench in street clothes. Could be an injury issue also. Yeah. Nice individual move up, no, from Childs. Goes back and gets it, puts it oh. with the jump hook, no. Fought for coming out of there is Robinson for Warrensville. They said he stepped on the line. There was a little bit of contact there that was ignored. It'll go over to the Titans. Well, just, you know, Coach Clark's teams are always very well organized. You're not going to see them force a lot. They won't turn it over defensively. They're Pretty sound. There's a good. Ooh, don't bring it down, son. Back comes Walker. Underhand layup. No. Rebound to Lorenzo. Headmans it 
to Kimbrough. Nice move, nice move. In. Very nice move. 11 to 2. Little hesitation on the dribble. Throws the defender. And he didn't use the offhand, but he came. There's a travel. Knew what he wanted to do, just ball got caught up in his arm. Well done. 11 to 2. Back they come. This is Pettis. There's the trap. Inside, down low, nicely done. Shot up, no. Childs comes on the rebound and has it go off his leg and out of bounds. I like the aggressiveness of the Titans. Yeah. Oh, Brian Clark, he demands that they play hard. They are aggressive. They well, are year in and year out. No, it's a trait. Uh, it's always a trait. Not just hard, but they're very aggressive offensively. They're, you know, tenant, they're not tentative like a lot of freshman teams would be against a zone like that. Knocked away from behind by Witt, but he went and got it back up and in. He's got all four. It's 11 to 4 with a minute 10 to go. Kimbrough, drive, no, fouled. I think the foul is on number one, McCrory. Yeah, his second. And to the line, Micah Kimbrough, who has a couple of baskets since he's come on. We're going to have massive sub right now, Jay. Oh, jeez, yeah. We have three at the table. Warrensville empties their bench. <laughs> Jay, come on. <laughs> Jonathan Turner for Warrensville. Ruiz is back well, along with I, I remember that game Michael we, Williams. you and I did a few years ago where uh, I, I forget who it was. They only had five. And um, by the end of the third quarter, those kids were really gassed. Yeah. But, they, but they, they still played. They played as, as hard as you could. Uh, who was that, Jay? It was a girls I think, I think it was Warrensville. Was it a girls? girls? Yeah, it was a yeah. Girl. yeah, it was Warrensville Demar girls. Demarion Prochinski into the lineup for the first time, number 20. He's got good legs, huh, Ruiz? One-hander after the steal, up and in. Christian Ruiz. Knocked it away again, and it went off the baseline that time to save a second turnover. 14 to four with a minute one to go, first quarter. Nice interchange there, and Robinson brings it ahead on the run with the left up blocked by Christian Ruiz. 55 seconds to go, first quarter. Into Witt. You know. This is Walker. Robinson. Wit. Oh. On the ball screen. <laughs> Down, give and go to Wit. Wit forces his way up and yeah, scores. Yeah, Wit strong. Now he looks like he's about 6'2, big body. Yeah, he got six, all six, 25 seconds to go. Down the lane, passing off, shot kind of crazy. Prochinski lost it on the rebound to Warrensville with 19 seconds to go. This has got to be a little bit frustrating for Coach Clark. If, if Warrensville scores here, I mean, it, this was a 12-point lead at one point. There's five-second violation, or well, did he travel? Quick, quick I think he, I think they called him for traveling as he started to slide. But you're saying that was a spot? Yes, it was, because okay. it was a turnover. We didn't score. Kruczynski, short. Ruiz goes and gets, throws it up. No. Micah Williams out. And, and Down to seven seconds. Ruiz Jay. brings it out, gets it over to Pettis. Ruiz. 17-footer, no. On the floor, and that's it. We've played one in Lorraine. Ooh. Lorraine 14, Warrensville's freshman six. Back with more after this timeout. We make Marines who overpower the desire to quit with the perseverance to prevail. Not for glory, but for honor. For a code that isn't written or spoken, but lived. It's what we do 
It's who we are. It's the battle cry of our fighting spirit. Battles won. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. Hey, Luda. Got a sec? Yeah, what's up? I'm really worried. One of my friends is living on the street. I know someone who can help. Who? 1-800-RUNAWAY.ORG. They help kids having a rough time at home, in school, or on the street. You can do a live chat on their site. They will help get her to safety. Thanks, Ludacris. Trust the National Runaway Switchboard. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Back here at Lorraine, ready to start the second quarter of the freshman basketball game between Lorraine with 14, Warrensville Heights with six. And we've remarked several times, Warrensville Heights comes in with a roster of six. Nice pass to Prochinski, over to yeah. Williams. Yeah, that was nice. That's Desmond did, Maxwell. So. Didn't, didn't dribble into the trap and a steal. Foul. Oh, my. Lots of contact there. Foul's going to be on Pettis, I believe, for knocking McCrory out of bounds. Warrensville ball inbounded in the corner to McCrory. He runs it up the sideline with Ruiz in pursuit. Got a hand on it, but McCrory got it back. Well, they're going to struggle. I mean, Witt is not in the game, Jay. Okay, if he's going to blow, they're going to... He's the one... It's his turn now to get a blow, and they, they look to him. Well, we were remarking at the quarter how hard it would be to practice with six and yeah. everything else. Long three, no. Maxwell with it. Gets it out ahead to Pettis. Ooh. That's going to be a charge. And that's two quick ones on Pettis to start the second quarter. Anthony Lorenzo up off the bench. Pettis got a lot of wrap on that right hand. Long pass intercepted by Childs. Lorenzo running one-hander up yeah. and good. Or Prochinski, excuse me, that's Prochinski. There is a Prochinski freshman playing for Coach Mark Feldman's varsity, who I am sure is some kind of related, very similar body type. Athletic ability, nice rebound. I'll tell you, they go get yeah, it. Yeah, it, it, one of the big differences in this game, other than the pressure, I mean, the, definitely Lorraine High's benefiting from pressing full uh, by pressing full court is, uh, you know, the offensive glass doing a nice job. Not a lot of size out there for the Lorraine freshman either. Desmond Maxwell at the line. I've been identifying him as someone else. I'll apologize to him. We're at the line with two points. First throw up, used it all, got it to go. 19 to six. Yes. Substitute Javon Williams in, replacing Jay Sean Childs for the Titans. Next one up, and that one's swish. Four for Des Maxwell. And it's 20 to 6. 6 to start the quarter. Oh, my. And a takeaway from Mac by Maxwell. Layup up. Oh, no. no. Rebound up and in by Puchinski. Full court pressure again. And, and another turnover. And that one you might call unforced other than the pressure. The, the, it was on the catch rather than anything else. Titans will have the ball again under their basket with a 16-point lead at 22 to 6. And the hard part for Warrensville is the 6 is on the bench. Yes. Ruiz down well, the lane to the 18-footer front rims it, goes and gets it. First four shot I've seen. Nice That's caught. Cut. Up and in. Lorenzo. They spread the floor, didn't fight pressure, back cut. Nice move there, up, no, rebound to Lorenzo, and he'll come back 24 to six. Off in the corner, this Prochinski's gonna be short. Rebound to Warrensville. Somebody yelled, go. Another steal. 
knocked away in the backcourt. That's going to be Lorraine Ball. Oh, no. He's, well, oh, it, was it was hard to see from our angle. Di Bernardo now comes back, 24, replacing Ruiz. Well, there are t 20 turnovers to be had by the team that pressures in freshman basketball. That's oh, been easy. my experience. I can Sometimes remember watching more. a game that you coached at the old Admiral King where at the end of the first quarter, I think it was 29-3. to 3. Well, you were ahead, and then you I called think, the pressure off. Well, that, that was Coach Mackey's uh, convincing me. Yeah. In fact, I brought him to practice. But I can remember you took the pressure off in the second quarter, yeah. and Kevin said, what's this going now? <laughs> <laughs> Layup oh, up, no, no back up, good. And that is Desmond Maxwell. There's a run out here. Turner up, no. Maxwell of pink sneaker fame tried to get it down low. De Bernardo aggressively. Strong. He gonna take one too many crow hops there. <clears throat> I know Coach Clark. He'll take the heat off. It's twenty six. Twenty six to six. He, he's Eventually, gonna look, he's I think. Gonna he, look I think he, for, he'll keep it on for a while. But he he looks down. He sees only six players dressed on the other side. He'll take it off. Timeout, Warrensville. This is a fatigue timeout as much as anything. Was 14 to 6 at the quarter. Titans have opened with 12 straight in the first couple of minutes of well, the second quarter. Lorraine I does a couple of things I really like. They really hit the glass, and as you said, and I like the way first open man gets the basketball. They move it pretty well. Well, that's you know, one of the hardest things for young players to understand is that. How many points you score is not the measure of how well you play. That's absolutely correct. Absolutely and correct. This is a team game, and when you realize that, then you can do great things. Yep. And when your whole team realizes that, that then, you, then you can have a great situation for your team. Well, I see very unselfish play. I've only seen two bad shots, and that's not much for yeah, a freshman no, in, a, no, 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 in no. a quarter and a half. I, I, two, I thought, were forced or, or premature. They, she should have explored the defensive possibilities a little bit more. But other than that, you know, I really like the way they share the ball. First open man gets it. First open man up the floor gets it. I can tell you now that it all of a sudden figured out here that Witt is probably sitting this quarter for JV action. Jay, you're probably you're absolutely right. I didn't even think about that. Notice how the score has changed with him on the bench. Jerry and Robinson handles against Maxwell. Well, he has all six wit, doesn't he? Yes. For, the, for uh, Warrensville. Okay, here's a three on two. Nice, nice. pass. Nice I foul. No fouled. There you Lorenzo's going to go to the line. I'm not sure what team Pope just used. There was a nickname involved. <laughs> he knows all of the names. Oh, shot up and in. I mean, he is just amazing. Oh, absolutely. Jay. He had been doing it for a, a lifetime when I coached, and that was 30 years ago. Those two. Pookie Lorenzo, Pookie I think we got. Pookie, one of the I think two. Pookie. Down, forced out of bounds. Lorenzo's going to get a foul there. 28 to 6 is our score. Lorenzo now with nine points. McCrory all the way well, to the hoop, up, no. Di Bernardo a rebound, pivots through pressure, nicely throws it ahead. And go. that's Lorenzo. Lorenzo, who's had 29. He's got 11 now. This is Robinson, knocked away there and out of bounds by Maxwell. Maxwell does a lot, Jay, defensively. He's as got far nice as, feet and nice length. Yeah, and he anticipates passing lanes very well. That's about the third or fourth time he has done just that. I would say both of these teams are undersized in terms of yeah. 
overall length. Warrensville down low. Barkley pulled it out. Got it back to Robinson. Robinson around one. Elbow jumper. Glass no. Rebound out to Maxwell. Maxwell looks. Lorenzo back rims it. Prochinski glass and no goes and gets it again. Back outside. Lorenzo. That'll work. Yeah. Anthony Lorenzo with 13. One thing I know, Bob, is if you get 29, you got to have at least 13 and a half. Yeah. 20, 29 is huge. That is a lot. Down the lane, up DiBernardo. And you can see that Warrensville struggling without the big guy on offense. They're looking for him rather than to shoot. DiBernardo down the lane had it knocked away. Going to be a foul. Number 11, Nazir Walker. There's a gaggle at the table. Yeah. Christian Ruiz. Micah Kimbrough. 13 is Kimbrough. 33 is Zayden Martinez. Into Prochinski, who had it knocked away. I don't think either player was ready for that to start. Foul is going to be white three. And that would be Javon Williams' second foul. Coach Clark calls off the heat. 32 I to 6. Knew he would. Under two in the second quarter. That's the right thing to do. Absolutely. <clears throat> this is Darian Robinson. I think one of the things that I've been impressed with at this end is their communication. They have seamlessly switched yeah, interchanges I, and things. Well, they well, lost. They yeah, lost that's my right fault. There. I, I see they switch ball screens. Yeah. Ruiz, <clears throat> head up, gets it down to Kimbrough, back over to Williams, up and in. Javon Williams. Wow, 34 to 6. Yeah, this is a blitz. 20 to nothing in the quarter thus far with a minute 10 to go. Darian Robinson gets it over to McCrory, taken away. Oh, catch the ball with two hands. Mike Kimbrough. <laughs> he was thinking about what he was going to do to lay it up. Well, when you're up like this, Jay, 34 to 6, and the other team only has six dress, I mean, you take the heat off and you play everybody. Doesn't mean you, you don't play hard. No, everybody's played. Compete, There's no doubt about that. But those are the two things I. Yep. Sportsman things I think you do. Robinson. Especially, it's a league game. Up. Oh, Ruiz poked it away and going to get. Caught with his hand in the cookie well, jar there. I'm not saying, Jay, that you know you, you don't play hard. You right, so I agree. Because when you don't play hard, that's when you get hurt, strangely. Well, enough. Just like in football. If you don't play hard, you get hurt. Well, so you play hard, you compete, uh, but again, you just take off the full court heat. And, well, I think and one of the biggest insults you can have to another team is not to, is not to play hard against exactly. them. Darian and, Robinson at the line, one in the bonus with 56 seconds left in the half. And, you, you, know, you know, playing hard, Jay, is one of the toughest things to teach yep. the freshman. Yep. Ruiz. It really is. Gets it ahead. I thought rebound up and good, and that's Javon Williams again. Got the last four for the Titans, and with 40 seconds to go, back comes Warrensville. Wow, they've been shut out this quarter. Yeah, 22 to nothing in the quarter thus far. McCrory. Pretty good shell drilled positioning here. McCrory had it knocked away, and they say he had the last tip. So it'll be out to Lorraine with 25 seconds to go. Now, if I was Coach Clark right here with 25, I would play for one and work I on it. I would that agree. Right now, work on it. Ruiz is going to come over here in the corner, and they're going to spread it out and do just that. Yep. This is what you do against a man normally, but why not practice it? Martinez comes up for a back screen. Ruiz uses it, throws oh. three. Got it. Ruiz with seven. It's 38 to six. Two seconds. Three ball. Long. Oh, oh it went in off the television. Oh, no, that's not a TV. No, that's off the, the pole. The pole. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Did it count? No. That's out of bounds. Oh. 
<laughs> Titans with a 25 nothing quarter open a 39 to 6 lead here at halftime of the freshman and we'll be back with the second half action after this timeout. Stop texting and driving. It's not for you. For me. Inspiring city and campus. Inspiring people. Inspiring creativity. Inspiring hands-on learning. Inspiring global experiences. Inspiring traditions. Be a Buckeye. Inspire. Back here at Lorraine High, set to start the second half of the Titan freshman and Warrensville Heights Tiger freshman. And, Bob, this one's really one-sided. It, it, it is. It's 39-6 to six at half. Uh, Warrensville was shut out, didn't score in the second quarter. Let's see. Does that young man come back out on the no. floor? No, he doesn't. Krim? Or Witt, or Witt rather. Uh, he's, Here's basically he's their six. Yeah, I was going to say, basically the situation is the young man on the bench, and then Warrensville only with six players, Eric Witt. He is a freshman. He scored six points in the first quarter, did not play in the second quarter. Yeah. They did and, not score. Yeah, they, and he's not, not starting the third. Ten is Jonathan Turner for Warrensville. Kicks it back out to Darian Robinson. Three into the corner. Eleven is here Walker. Right, I play a little zone here, Jay. One, Terry on McCrory. Knocked away. DiBernardo recovers for Lorraine. Des Maxwell brings it up. Off on the wing to Lorenzo, who had 13 in the first half to lead everyone. Be out of bounds to the Titans underneath. 39-6, as Bob said. It was 14-6 at the end of one. Second quarter was a 25-aught quarter. De Bernardo into Ruiz, up off the glass, oh, and good. That's the second time Warrensville has not not defended that out of bounds play. Well, then normally that'd be your big guy defending the post, and they don't have a big guy. Are we playing a little zone here, Jay? Walker, I believe we are. Walker. Up top to Robinson. Back to Walker. Yeah, we are. I'm not a big advocate of zone at this level. I think you can introduce it, maybe play around with it a little bit, but it can't be your base. And it's not. Shot up. Martin, or Maxwell, rather, with the rebound on the run. Off to Lorenzo. Back to Ruiz. Fakes three down the lane. Lost it. Traveled Travel, with it. Yeah. Now that they're going to talk it over. Coach Clark yelled, no, he didn't. He lost the ball, and the official underneath called him over. And I think this is going to be changed to an inadvertent whistle. Guess not. Hmm. Now, wait a minute. With whose who, who, who's ball, Jay? It's going to be Lorraine's wow. ball. When you're down 39, 41 to 6 and you get the uh, call changed against you, the frustration is palpable on the coach. <laughs> Ruiz, three ball from Maxwell, no, knocked out of bounds. That one will go blue. And as players everywhere know, Bob, ball don't lie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. There, there's a lot to be said for that. Darian Robinson will walk it up. Titans in a 1-1-3 one, one, type zone. Yeah, right. Back guard takes the first pass. Walker. Other guards... They've it really usually goes to the elbow, but they're, they're, they I think they've it. extended it yeah. beyond what was intended. Yeah, well, that's going to create more seams. McCrory on the baseline. And the offense Barkley. should look to attack those seams 
Yeah, Maxwell, er, Maxwell just missed one. Three ball, long rebound. DiBernardo, nicely done. Lobs it ahead to Lorenzo missed. Up, no. We're going to get shots. free throws yeah. for Desmond Maxwell. You know, the, the other thing I noticed, and I, it's a, a tribute to uh, Coach Clark, one of the things you have to do as a coach at the freshman level is you have to get everybody shot heading in the right direction. Yes. It's not going to be a complete finished product necessarily at the end of the freshman season, but it should be developing and evolving to a good shot. And you have to you have to really work on the fundamentals of shooting the basketball every day. And then you have to shoot, and I always thought it was best to, for shooting practice to shoot the shots you get out of your offense. One, I would say 40 minutes a day. One out of two for Maxwell. He's got seven. 42 to six. Well, you know, the one thing that's difficult at the freshman level is, you you know, many times the freshman coach is down there by himself with a gaggle of kids. And, you know, there's probably 15 kids over there. And it's well, hard to do some individual. Now, he, yeah, Lorraine is it, fortunate it, it, it in that is. he's got, you know, he's also got Bill Sturgill and Chris Kimbrough down there with him. You know, a couple of guys who've been around a few gyms. You know, and gym time is a problem for freshmen. You know, we, we of course, used to practice. We, we practiced at Charleston and, yep. uh, oh, geez, I forget the other Mass elementary. Mason. Yeah, we, we would practice after school as opposed to, you know, being in line to practice, which was kind of nice. And I usually had an assistant, which helped in the, in the areas that you're referring to, Jay. Well, it's nice here because the freshmen can go down in the far end where they have a gym to themselves, a full 94-foot court. DiBernardo, no. Maxwell went after it, didn't get it. Warrensville tries to split the trap. Ruiz reaches in. Maxwell controls it nicely. DiBernardo, he's going to throw three. <laughs> oh, jeez. Gee, I, 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 it never dawned on me. How does practice go here? I mean, are all three boys' teams practicing at the same time? Yes. And, yes. The, and everybody's... No, the, I mean, the varsity JV is pretty much here on the main court. Because that's, okay. that's and about... there is a full... There's a full 94-foot court. To the left of us, to as the we left speak. Of us. Okay. Even to the point where there, you know, that you could run a freshman game down there with three rows of bleachers. You know, I had never thought about that. That's really nice. We yep. didn't have that at uh, Admiral King back in the day. And certainly the old Lorraine High had an upstairs gym. I that remember was, uh, that, yes. About a 75-foot yeah, court. I remember that. But, I mean, there was a time when, uh, you know, we had six teams looking right. to practice on one floor every Di day. Bernardo again, nice. five quick ones for him. Nice pass. Wow. And a lot of times if the varsity is doing some sort of a shooting drill at the end of practice, the JVs will go down and work, you know, versus the freshmen. So well, they get <clears throat> taken away there and up and no. Rebound up, yes, for Pettis. Jay, you, you're talking about uh, uh, just what you referred to right there. When I had the freshmen... Over the holidays, we would scrimmage the JVs at least three times, and it helped yeah. us get better. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really did. Down the lane, layup up and good for Desmond Maxwell with nine now. 51-6 to six with 2.30 left in the third quarter. And the young man with the six is no longer on the bench. Wow. And they are subless. At this point, they do not have a sub. Three ball. That'll work. Good. I'm glad. Nazir Walker that. with three. I'm glad that went. 51 in. to nine. Shot up and in by Pettis on a nice lead pass. Timeout for Coach Clark and Lorraine High. 2:03 to go. Bob, getting back to to what we were talking about with the fundamentals in the practice, I'll tell you something else that is really helped the shooting in this program immensely are those guns. Yeah. The shooting yeah. guns. Everybody's where you, using them now. Yes, yes. You know, you plug no it question. in, you put the net up around the, the rim, yep. and the ball will pass to you. Right. You catch and shoot, and it the, the gun moves 
around the arc as well as anything else. Yes, but the real coaching, Jay, is you don't want kids practicing a bad shot. You have to break down the fundamentals. Yeah, absolutely, of, beef. Uh, every day we used to shoot against the wall uh, to, or shoot to each other before we even shot at a yep. basket, working on form, elbow alignment, release, etc. Because so many kids coming up into the freshman year, they've got the habit carried over from when they were young to shoot it from their hip, yep. shoot a push shot from their hip, because it was, you know, when they were younger, it was the only way they can get it up to the rim. Oh, yeah. Now it's time to get a big boy shot, yep. and that's really one of the keys to the freshman I, I can season. remember at the old Lorraine High gym, when I coached the girls, there was a ledge, a, a block wide around about 12 to 15 feet up, and we would shoot every day working to land the ball on the on, on, the, on the ledge okay and if you had right. a, if you had good rotation it would bounce twice there there you go you know, so that you're, that teaching, even, you're teaching lift and rotation yes so yeah there's a lot to shooting a basketball you know which to me brings into question whether or not you need the three-point shot at the middle school level Alan Barkley jump stops short Rebound to Warrensville, stepped on the end line. Well, it's 53-9. to nine. One of the things I would like to see in this game right now, Jay, and I took, by the way, I think Brian Clark took that last time out to give Warrensville a blow. Which I is, do, too. Which is a very sportsmanlike thing to do. Jay Sean I, Childs in for the Titans. I would like to see everybody on Warrensville's team score a basket. That would be nice. I'd have no problem with that. Titans look like they're back to the man-to-man, -man, or Warrensville still man-to-man -man now. Curl cut off the nice screen. Nice, Pruszynski, no. Rebound to Warrensville and Walker, and he'll bring it up. Minute 10 to go, third quarter. Back to Walker, Robinson. Robinson with Lorenzo. Go ahead. <laughs> See, hesitant. Funny he had a shot. Yep, everybody did but him. McCrory. Oh. Jump whistle. You know, Jay. Uh, going to be a foul on <laughs> Lorraine. You know, Jay, as we talk, and maybe we'll notice it the next time down when Lorraine has the ball, it looked to me like their man offense was a very open set with everybody facing the basket, mm -hmm. an open five, pass, cut, and fill type thing. I, I think that is a good developmental offense for freshmen because it teaches players, even your bigger kids who years ago would have been stuck on a block, right. it, they become better basketball players playing on the perimeter. Uh, I totally you can, agree. You can Shot. always move them inside. No. Nope. Okay. Rebound off to Lorraine, and Kimbrough brings it ahead. Lost it, not knocked away from behind. Turner with it. Turner to the baseline, had it knocked out of bounds. Kimbrough knocking it away, but it'll stay with Warrensville with 22 seconds to go in the third. I don't think we've ever done, Jay, we've been doing games for years. I don't think we ever have ever had a score like this. Can you recall one? Not on a, not on a boys game. Shot down, up, and Get in. in for Tor Torian McCrory. Down quickly, Prochinski on the run, had it blocked, got it back. Jump ball stays with Lorraine with 11 seconds to go. Well, let's see if we get the easy, the, the easy pass here. Martinez will inbound no. out in the corner to Lorenzo. Yeah, spread the floor, everybody face the go. basket, good. Like it. High post, Kimbrough no lost it out of bounds at the buzzer. We've played three in Lorraine, 53 for the freshman Titans, 11 for Warrensville, back with more after this. I began in third grade, eight years old, and I was able to learn the chest compressions and the breaths and I absolutely believe that anyone out in the public can easily learn. We got a page for an unresponsive two-month-old, and when I got the first glimpse of the two-month-old, he was blue. We didn't even get to go inside. I just jumped in the back, and we started CPR, continuing CPR, and you were able to see the color start to come back, and then we were able to actually get his heart rate back. It was a pretty moving part in the story that we were able to save a two-month-old's life. 
My community is why. The Warriors to Work program makes it possible for wounded warriors and their families to build new lives together. When my dad left, I was like this big, but I'm like this big. My dad got a master's degree and in human resources. Thanks to Warriors to Work that my dad has a terrific job. The Wounded Warrior Project helps him by, you know, giving him another start. Now that my dad's home, I get a lot more hugs. I'm really proud of him. Find out more about Wounded Warrior Project at findwwp.org. Welcome home, the brave. Back here at Lorraine High, set to start the fourth quarter of the ninth grade game. The outcome has not been in doubt for some time, but freshmen is a lot more than outcome. It's been all Lorraine. Warrensville had six to start the game, and the sixth went in the locker room at halftime to get ready for the JV game after not playing the second quarter, which allows him to play all four quarters. So the five that you see on the floor have been out there since the start of the second quarter. McCrory with it up and in. Torian McCrory with four. J Jay Sean Childs wow. gets it over to Prochinski and then Martinez. Jay, for the first time in the game, they want to down press. by 46. 40 points. <laughs> they're coming out. If yeah, we're at it's 40, I'm sorry. Heat. With heat, they're pressing with five guys. No Childs bad. splits the double team. 12 is Lorenzo. Martinez, 33. 20, Prochinski. 13, Kimbrough. There was a hop, step, and a jump. Martinez clears that. Wait for the dust to settle. No. Prochinski had a shot at it. On the, Martinez on the floor with it, taken by Childs. And then taken away by Turner for Warrensville. Comes up, gets things settled down. This young man does not like to pass the basketball. This is Robinson. Nice down diagonal pass. Back to McCrory, throws it up off the rim. Martinez with a rebound, and he's going to bring it ahead. Zayden Martinez picks it up, gives it to Kimbrough. Down low to Prochinski, up and in. To Marion Mar Prochinski, got six now. Five minutes to go. I would like to see, if Warrensville would just reverse the basketball, I Whistle, see. traveling with the ball. With the way this little zone is configured, who covers reversal, the opposite wing? Because the guard's really not in a position, even if the the wing player bumps up in, in, to recover. You know, in every zone offense, Bob, we talked about this the other night. There's a grab in the backcourt on Turner, his third. Every zone offense, Jay, go ahead. It was designed to get a baseline player to cover a wing. You know, he pulls somebody up off the baseline and yeah. then work in behind it, yeah, that exactly, short corner. Exactly. Or, That's why, you know, everybody plays the Syracuse 2 3, where you bump on, right. bump up on reversal and. All the way down. The guard, the guard, two guards are basically responsible for three spots on the floor, both wings and, and the point. Anthony Loren Lorenzo with the last basket. Knocked away there by Lorenzo, picked up by Prochinski, ahead of the pack, lays it up with the backhand, good. You know, Jay, big loss in the high school basketball this past week. I think I've told you the most influential oh, Morgan clinic, Wooten. clinic I ever attended was at Dematha yeah. Catholic. Morgan, Morgan Wooten was up right around 90, passed yep. away, really a legend of high school high school basketball uh, coached at DeMatha and for years, years and years and years, years. And years. <laughs> really good players Carmelo Anthony yeah. being among them yeah. Adrian Dantley I believe yeah, went Adrian there Adrian Dantley did go there but I, he put on a heck of a clinic I, yeah, I, I learned a lot he's got a great book out too, if you want to do a little read yes I have shot up <laughs> kind of a soft brick Micah Kimbrough with seven, 61-13. That one landed on the heel and just fell in. 
But, Jay, you know, back to that, you know, open concept facing the basket at this level. He's the first one that really. Three ball, nope. Enlightened me on that idea as, as the best way to develop players. Well, and you know what? The biggest thing, and they seem to have come all the way to the hoop and getting fouled is Childs. Coach Clark's got a shift change coming in. McCrory will get the foul, at least three. It's five, Jay. What? He's bringing a fresh five. Yeah, he's got, so I say, shift know. change. Yeah. Um, Hockey. You know, the biggest thing about the open five, Bob, is you have to conquer well, passing and standing. Yes, right. Well, it, you become a basketball player, you know, if taught properly. And you know, I can remember Morgan Wooten saying that at the freshman level, you know, he said, I could teach a kid if he becomes, a, you know, an aircraft carrier to play on the block with his back to the basket right, right, in, right. in a, you know, five, ten minutes after practice every day. Right. Um, I can't teach him to become a basketball player if he's, if he's stationed on a block and practices on a block. Childs misses them both, pivoting and out of bounds. It'll go over to Lorraine, which will get Childs to the bench and Javon Williams in. 24, Ryan DiBernardo. 11, Christian Ruiz. 0, Dennis Pettis. 3, Javon Williams. And number 10, Desmond Ooh. Maxwell. That was Ruiz. Yes. Up and in. He's in double figures with 11. Lead is 50. With 3.10 to go. Okay. I know who's going to take that pass. I want to see who takes the... Nice save there, but it comes back to Warrensville. Three ball is long. DiBernardo with a decent box out. Takes it ahead and gets it off to Pettis. Pettis will walk it across. Swings it. Ruiz into the corner. Maxwell takes it to the hole, lays it in. You know, Di Bernardo shows some um, some pretty good basketball IQ if you watch the way Agreed. He, he he moves and handles the ball and obviously passes the ball. Well, there's a they, you can tell they have a full court to operate on because these guys play with their heads up. Yeah. Which is another skill. Handling yep. the ball with your head up is something that Pettis from behind. Lays it up, no. Rebound up, no. Ruiz gets it, no. Oh. Oh. DiBernardo oh. back up, DiBernardo again. Those six shots will kill you. <laughs> Ryan DiBernardo <laughs> with the last seven for Lorraine. Down to 203, Jay. Poking it away, Pettis tried to recover, recovered by Warrensville, sends it ahead all the way up. Go ahead, young man. Three ball, no. Tapped out. Three Robinson no. for three. Oh. No. Di Bernardo. <laughs> Taken away from Ruiz's pass, and back comes Warrensville. Bounce pass. McCrory had it swatted away. Out of bounds to Warrensville. Sixty-seven, thirteen, with a minute and a half to play. Yep. Robinson to put it in play. And gets it into Walker. Taken away by Pettis. Driving. Whistle. Foul is going to be on Allen Barkley. Number 12. It's going to send Dennis Pettis to the line. Well, this will move Lorraine High to eight and six. You right. know, they, they, pretty tough schedule. They played St. Ed's twice. Right. Now, St. Ed's does have two freshman teams, Jay, and they played at least both. Yeah, at least they they lost to both. Yep. Um, Pettis misses the first. He's got four points in the second half. Second shot, no. Rebound, Ruiz picks it up, lays it in. Christian Ruiz with 13. On the run, Robinson into the corner. Turner long off oh. the leg of Williams. It'll stay with That's Warrensville. Okay. That's okay. I don't mind to see. It doesn't bother me to see Lord, uh, Warrensville score right here. 
Pass knocked away, recovered by Turner. He's going to throw a four. Oh! <laughs> that one was long. That was a par five right there. Ruiz. Christian Ruiz on the fly. Pretty good handles. Dropped it off. Up and good for Javon Williams, who's got six. Pretty good handles by that young man. Yeah, I, I like his skill level for too. his size. Robinson. 35 seconds to go. They're going to hold it. I would be happy with that. I would, too. <laughs> I thought right there he was going to light it up. He did. And the coach <laughs> said, don't no. bother. <laughs> this is where, as the Titans with the lead you have, you have, you know. Okay. Uh, you have to learn how to win here. Yeah, I would tell Brian. Whistle. I would tell Brian to call off the dogs here. Look at, well, the look says that he's trying to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can never recall a boy's score 70s, 70s to teens. Yeah. Inbound That's up okay. and no. <laughs> Ruiz comes he's, back. He's got time to score. Let's see if he does. Keep Passed it off, and Javon Williams puts it in for his eighth point, and that'll do it. Wow. 73-13 for the Titans. They move to 8-6 and six on the season. And just real quick, I, pretty much everybody got into the book. Uh, Lorenzo led everybody with 15. Christian Ruiz had 13. 11 for Maxwell, and thus and such. Seven for DiBernardo and Kimbrough, eight for Pruchinski and Williams, four for Pettis, that'll about do it. 73 to 13, the freshman Titans move to eight and six. And if you'll stay tuned, even on YouTube, I believe, this is a two for one, as you see the JV Titans out warming up. We'll be back with that after this timeout. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools TV20 WLCS.